Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. As always with the announcements, they always sound the same because they are. Thank you guys so much if you're listening to this right now on SoundCloud, Stitcher, or iTunes. Thank you for commenting and spreading the word and giving us a good rating, if you enjoy it, of course. You know, and then if you don't, just like instead of putting a bad rating, just let me know and I'll fix it. I'll make it the best I can for you. Just give me some feedback. Also, uh, this week we're really focusing on, I believe it was, a YouTube, right? YouTube. So YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe because what you'll be able to do on YouTube is see all the 15 minute fuels in order because I understand on Facebook, when you're watching this Facebook Live, with all the stuff and content we're putting on, all the creative, it gets lost, right? I know when you try to go back and you're scrolling, you're scrolling. So on YouTube, they are in a playlist, convenient, in order, perfect. Also, the We Are Heroes are also in order as well. So that's a great way to go and do your 15-minute fuel binges or your We Are Heroes binges as well. And what I like to do for some people that I do follow, you know, I'll go to the YouTube channel just for that because they usually have playlists. And because of the playlist, I could listen to their stuff in order when I'm catching up. So it's a very nice, convenient way because it's autoplay. So I could just keep it going and catch up very, very nicely. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. And that's kind of one of my little you know, productivity hacks, you know, YouTube is great. So make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the bell because that'll give you all the notifications as well. All right, so today, if you have not um, got to one uh, www.iamhero.com forward slash free series to get your one month to win uh, mini course, then please do so. It will only be available for free just probably by the end of this month when we're done doing this training. So depending on when you're listening to this, uh, it all depends on whether that is a free course or it's a very low payment, whatever that would be when we do get there. All right, so um, we're on day seven. So day seven, yesterday we really talked about good about tracking things, right? So you want to track the stuff. So that's one thing. We're, we're starting with the one thing because I'm doing this and we're trying to keep it nice and simple to A, show that you could do it. And when you know you could do it and you feel like you're winning, that winning builds momentum and it becomes a habit. So you know if you could do it in one area of your life or even one section of one area of your life, you know that you could just compound it and 10x it anytime you want. It's like flipping on a switch. So today we're going to talk about, so how do we remove the bad habits and replace them with good habits? And this comes, it's, it's an order, right? This comes from tracking things. So when you're tracking, if you've been tracking different things, you're going to see when you start to track things, you're going to start to see uh, the distractions that you weren't aware of and the bad habits. Very important, right? So the only way you're going to see them, because remember, Whatever we do, we sincerely feel we're doing our best or a good job of it. But we don't realize that even though we might think we are, there might be distractions or blind spots that we don't see or we don't pay attention to because we're not fully like tracking and using that magnifying glass on that one area we want to prove. Whether it be something in your finances, your relationships, your health, whatever it is. So now that you're tracking it and you're looking at it, you're going to start to see, wow, here's, you know, here's a distraction or here's a blind spot. And it'll make you aware of something you weren't aware before. So now you start replacing them. So what's a distraction? Distraction could be social media, right? You know, I told you guys uh, a couple episodes ago, you know, the, even, you know, the certain, you know, when your phone's, if you're working, let's say if you're working and your phone's even on vibrate, when that thing goes off, you pick up your phone and you look, right? So if I'm working and I'm focused and, my, and I'm writing, let's say I'm writing, I was writing today, and that phone beeps or text comes in, I stop, I'm in the zone, right? I stop, pick up the phone, look, I text back, and then they text back to me, and that might take off 10 or 15 seconds, put it down, and now I got to get in that flow state again. So you see, this is where those little distractions, you might think, well, I just picked it up. I just looked at who, uh, what notification is coming just for a second, but those seconds become distractive and they actually, re they actually will probably pull a ton of productivity out of your life. So that's just a small part. So start uh, writing a list. Or th I mean, you can write a list if you want to just understand what are the distractions in my life? What are things that are distracting me? That you know if that distraction was gone, it opens up the space, it opens up the time to start now focusing on the good habits that you want to do because that's the thing. Remember, we can't make more time, so we could st you only could add so many things on the plate, right? The, it's like almost life's almost like a box, right? The time is like the box, so I can only add so much stuff in that box, and then over time, there's no more room. So in order to put those good things, we've got to start finding those little distractions or those little blind spots or bad habits that now we can start pulling those things out, and when you pull it out, what's going to happen? It's, gonna, it's now going to free up that space to A, 
start producing goals that you want to be. So that's going to give you the time to, you know, cook your meals quicker or that time to exercise. Easy right there. So if, if, if exercise is 12 minutes a day, you could do it as little as 10, 12 minutes a day if you wanted to. And just think, just from stopping to look at your texts or, or check your email every five minutes or so, you will free up probably an hour of your day of distraction. And you could, there's, there's your exercise time. There's your exercise time and there's even a nap time. You follow, so those little blind spots, those little things that are robbing efficiency, find them and start eliminating those and freeing up the time. And, but, but you don't eliminate, you eliminate them to put something in. Right? You don't eliminate them, just, just for the heck of it. Eliminate them, put something in that'll be productive. So make sure you do that. So you're tracking time. Now that we're tracking the thing that you're doing, now you can actually go in and replace it with, uh, it could be the meal plan, it could be the time to eat, it could be the nap time if you guys really need naps during the middle of the day. It could be exercise time. That could be just, just having some extra creativity time. Because again, when you're, when you're constantly distracted, and those distractions are tiny, those little distractions, they ruin from your focus, and your productivity. And when you're focused, when you're in that zone, that's when you absolutely get the best way to do it. And yes, as Marla said on there, it is easier to focus on one thing at a time. But also, what you notice is when you get distracted, you don't go right back to it. When you get back to it, it kind of gets you, you got you to gotta get back in your groove again. So you actually stay distracted for a few minutes to ten, up to 10 minutes before you get back in your groove again. And usually by then, that phone notification went up or or, or the doorbell went off, and then it, the whole day is never really getting present in that vertical timeline. So check that out. Make sure you do that. Um, other things we want to talk about when it comes to tracking things. It's real simple. Now we're just getting really practical. There's nothing uh, inspirational about this. This is nothing. Just little things you could do that it's really becoming self-aware. I'm giving you little techniques to make you more self-aware because I know every single person, you know the areas you could improve, but the areas that you feel you're doing well in and you're not making the results, and you, then you start to feel that it's you, but it's not you. It's still, it's a lie. It's a, it's a perception. It's not you. It's just that there is little details. You know, when you're in the bottle, you don't see the label. So now doing these things, it makes you more aware of some things that are going on, and you're like, there's the devil in the details, and now you're able to see it. You're able to at least be aware of it, right? You don't even have to fix it all. Just be aware of it. And just because you have awareness right there will actually start the shifting of the changing. For some of you, it'll be too quick. Some, for some of you, you could do it in a day. You know, you're like, yep, I'm out. That's out of the door. Never again. And for some of you, it takes time. It's okay. Just, just being aware and knowing that we're moving forward. That's all you can ask yourself, right? Just moving forward. All right, let me see. What, any questions? I haven't done questions in a while. Let's see. Hello, everybody. What's up, Street? Uh, Pete? Um, school my hero shirts will be giving a shot. Awesome. So a couple of you guys got your hero shirts. So the hero shirts, make sure you go to the store and check out the new shirts. Every, uh, every couple of weeks we actually put a new, uh, design on there. So I believe we have the potentialist. There's a shirt. I actually, this week and I saw Dr. Tim Cummings wearing our potentialist shirt, which was so cool. And, uh, I believe, uh, I definitely know we have kid sizes on there now and little, little guy sizes, little girl sizes. And our, our, I think the newest shirt that came out is our, uh, is our unicorn one. We actually, because you guys love the unicorn shirt I was wearing. So we actually made a unicorn shirt. It's got a unicorn and it says, I have a unicorn that eats fairy dust and craps gold and its name is Balance. And so that's my little take and my little haha on that, like Balance really is a mystical creature. It really, you know. You could be great at everything, you know. So uh, check out that shirt. It has different colors as well. You can get black, white, whatever. So uh, get your shirts, get your swag on. They're really great. They're awesome, awesome shirts as well. And thank you guys so much for sending in those pictures as well. Let's see what's going on. So Pete got his shirt. It's all hello, Martha. Hey, Martha. Hey, Timmy. T. Ratcliffe. Hey, Jenny. Alanis. All right, Mr. Ron. Good to see you. All right, guys, so well, that's it. You know, just now go through your day and say, what are the things in my life through the day that's a distraction, all right? This could be people. This could be relationships. This could be the little things like the phone going off or the texting. What are the distractions? And now when you see those distractions, see how you can replace those with positive habits because those distractions become habits. And even though you think hey, that's why the day goes by like this and you really don't know what's going on. So start eliminating those. Now tomorrow we're going to go um, day eight, all right? So you guys, you're, you're doing great. Okay, we're about a quarter of the way there. 
I'm going to get through this whole month and guaranteed at the end of the month, you'll be winning on a daily basis. Already you should be winning, all right? Already you should be actually aware of all the wins you have in your life. The fact that you're here watching this, it's a win, right? So get used to winning. Winning feels great. Winning is addictive. I'm actually reading this book called Relentless by um, Grover. That's his last name. And he used to be the trainer or mindset and physical trainer for like Michael Jordan and Colby Bryant and all these really... Uh, great basketball players, and it was such a mindset, you know, it's just, a, th these guys had just amazing, uh, beautiful mindsets, and the thing is, they, they didn't, they weren't amazing because they got a really big paycheck, you know, the millions of dollars never meant any to, anything to them, they always just wanted to be a potentialist, they just wanted to be the best they physically and personally could be. They were never, these guys got 20, 30 million, you know, it was never about that because it was, they were so addicted to winning and knowing that they could be just that much better. And it was just, it's a very inspirational book, of course. So, you know, that's what we do here. You know, we want winning to be something that we enjoy getting. That feeling is good because when we're winning, it becomes a, a, a triple win. The triple win is this. When I win, you win. When you win, I win. And when we win, the world wins. All right, have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow for 15 Minute Fuel where it's just in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and your future. Don't forget to watch episode 44 that will, that will be coming out tomorrow. And uh, make sure you comment and share. Start hitting those share buttons. Let's get this word out. And PM me or, or, or message me with any questions you have concerning what we talked about or anything, and I'll be more than happy to uh, work with you and talk to you. All right, have a blessed day. We'll see you soon.